Hi, we were talking about lines and angles and here we'll look at certain examples on the topic of angle sum property of a triangle. So here's the first one. In the figure, if QT is perpendicular to PR, that means this line QT is perpendicular to this line PR and we are also given that angle TQR is equal to 40 degrees. Angle TQR would be TQR. So this particular angle here is given as 40 degrees and angle SPR, SPR, this one, this one is given to be 30 degrees. Then we have to find out the values of X and Y. So this one right here is Y and this one here is X. All right. So we are supposed to find out the values of X and Y. All right. How do we go about this? First of all, we are given QT perpendicular to PR. That means this particular angle right here is 90 degrees. Now, if you just look at this particular triangle, triangle TQR, this one, just look at this triangle in triangle TQR, we know values of two angles. We know this angle. We also know this angle. So we can easily find out the value of X by using the angle sum property. Isn't that easy? Great. So in angle TQR, we know angle TQR equal to 40 degrees. We also know that angle QTR is equal to 90 degrees. We know this, right? It's already given. All right, we are given these two conditions. We also know that angle TRQ is equal to X. So we will have angle TQR plus angle QTR plus angle TRQ is equal to 180 degrees. Why is this? Angle sum property of a triangle. Once we have this, we can easily replace the values of the angles that we know. So TQR would be 40 degrees. Then we would have 90 degrees. And finally, X is equal to 180 degrees. On solving this equation, we'll get 130 degrees plus X is equal to 180 degrees. Or the value of X is 50 degrees. So X now we know is 50 degrees. How do we go about finding the value of Y? Now finding Y is also very simple. Why do I say that? Now just consider triangle PSR. This triangle right here, triangle PSR. If we just look at this triangle, we see that SR is being produced to Q. And this angle, angle Y, is an external angle. So I can say angle PSQ is an external angle. And I know that an external angle measures the sum of the interior opposite angles. That means angle PSQ would be equal to the sum of angle S P R plus angle P R S S P R and P R S. Isn't that right? Because P S Q is an external angle. Now I know that P S Q is nothing but Y and I can write angle S P R as 30 degrees. I also know the value of angle PRS. I just found it here because angle PRS is nothing but angle TRQ or X. Hence, I can write angle PRS as 50 degrees. So the value of Y would be nothing but 30 degrees plus 50 degrees. That is nothing but 80 degrees. So those are your values of X and Y. So there'll be a lot of questions like these 
where you'll have to find a certain angle. You just have to try and separate out different triangles from the given figure and then look at certain relationships that could be found out either using the angle sum property of the triangle or look at an angle as an exterior angle and then we can easily find out the values of the required angles. With certain practice, you'll be able to solve a lot many questions with a lot of ease. Now let's look at another example. So here's the next question. It says find x if AB is parallel to DE. So where is x? x is right here. We are also given that angle B A C is equal to 35 degrees and C D E is equal to 53 degrees. Now we have to find out the value of x. Now to find the value of this particular angle x or angle D C E we need to have the value of this angle right here angle D E C. If I have the value of angle D E C I already know the value of angle C D E which is equal to 53 degrees right and these three angles form the three angles of this triangle C D E right. So in triangle C D E I have angle D plus angle E plus X equal to 180 degrees. Why is this? Angle sum property. So when this is true and I know the values of D E then I can easily find out the value of X. But how do I go about finding the value of E? There is another condition given to us and that is AB is parallel to DE. Do you think we can use this somehow? Let's see. So here we have AB is a line which is parallel to DE. We can also see that AE looks like a transversal. Right? It does. So we have AB parallel to DE and AE is the transversal. So when these two lines are parallel and AE is the transversal, I can say that angle B A E is equal to angle A E D. Why is this? Because they are alternate interior angles. Are they not? This angle and this angle right here are alternate interior angles and hence they are equal because AB is parallel to DE. So I can easily say that this angle, angle AED or I can call this as angle E because there is no other angle being formed here. So angle E would be equal to angle BAE which is nothing but 35 degrees. So when angle E is 35 degrees also I know angle D is 53 degrees I can now find out the value of X. So that would give me from this particular equation let me call this 1. So from 1 I will have angle D which is 53 degrees plus angle E which I just found out to be 35 degrees plus X equal to 180 degrees. This would imply that 53 degree plus 35 degrees is equal to 88 degrees plus X is equal to 180 degrees or I can say X is equal to 180 degrees minus 88 degrees and this would be nothing but 92 degrees. So we have found out the value of X here as 92 degrees. That's your answer right there. So finding out the values of angles when certain angles and relationships are given isn't that hard. So try out more questions and have fun. Bye.